My name is Tom Whitby. Uh, I'm a Corwin author. Uh, a brief bio. It's, it, it, I, I kind of hate this part because um, oftentimes people think that you're bragging when you begin to tell them the, the, the kinds of things that you've done. Um, but I was an educator for 34 years uh, on the secondary level as a secondary English teacher. And then I spent uh, another six years in higher education as an adjunct professor in education. Uh, and about six years ago, I got involved in social media. Uh, I was involved with LinkedIn to begin with. I started uh, seven different education groups on LinkedIn. The largest one that's still going right now is uh, called Technology Using Professors. Uh, that group's got about 12,000 uh, professors from all over the world. Uh, I'm the founder of EdChat on Twitter. Uh, EdChat was the first education discussion that was successful on Twitter. Uh, that's been running successfully for about five years now. Um, on Twitter, I've got about 57,000 followers just in education alone. Uh, I also started uh, a Ning site called the Educators PLN, stands for Professional Learning Network. That's got about um, probably about 18,000 educators on it right now uh, from around the world. Um, so I, I've been in very much involved with getting educators involved in social media. Uh, hence, I wrote a book about um, how to be a relevant educator. Things are, are, are changing very quickly in the world, and, you know, let alone education. Uh, and, and I found out as a, as a teacher, uh, I had gotten my master's degree in educational technology, but not one piece of hardware or software that I got that degree in exists today. So in order for me to stay relevant, uh, in what I do, I have to keep up with things that are going on. Uh, and in order to keep up with things that are going on, I, I need access to the tools of the 21st century. And, and that would be many of the tools that we now use in social media. Uh, too often, uh, educators uh, decide they want to be educators when they're growing up. Uh, they go off to school, they get themselves a degree, then they get themselves uh, a, a, a license to teach, and then they get themselves a job, and, and they think that they've reached the summit of their career and they don't have to learn anymore. Um, it's not that way. Teaching requires people to learn constantly because things are changing constantly, and, and we're dealing with information that's constantly changing. And, and the other important thing is to remember that we're educating our kids for their future, not where we are today. Um, too many educators are, are really stuck in the, uh, because we're, we're victims of 20th century education. Uh, you can't take the tools of the 21st century and, and use them with the methodology of the 20th, 20th century. It doesn't work. So in, in order to, to stay relevant, um, we need teachers accessing social media to collaborate with each other. The collaborative Learning has always been with us, but the, the real game changer is technology because it, it's taken away the boundaries of space and time. And these are the kinds of things that I, that I wrote about in the book with specific methodology to use uh, to get yourself connected. It's, it's what we call connected educators. Um, we're, we're able to collaborate with, with people outside of our buildings. You know, why anyone would limit themselves to collaboration within their own building is, is always beyond me anyway, when they've got the whole world that they can connect with. And, and that's what's changing things today. I guess you would call me a, a professional social media educator. Uh, it, it, it's not a position that you get paid for, but uh, th that's what I do. Uh, I am constantly on the computer because I'm not in the classroom anymore. And, and educators have become my students. I, I get to travel around the world, um, going to education conferences, talking about this kind of thing. I've been back and forth to Qatar for the last three years. I just got invited to Dubai uh, next month, and I pretty much travel around the United States at, on somebody else's dime, which is great, uh, just talking about the, the topics of social media and professional development and, and how to use that for um, directing your own learning as an educator. After being in education for 40 years and being very frustrated at the way things go on, um, if, things, if, if they were doing things successfully with professional development, we wouldn't be sitting around having all these discussions about education reform. Um, so obviously, they have not been doing things right. 
Uh, there are a lot of people who are very good about what they talk about, but actually delivering professional development, um, it, it's not the result of a workshop. It has to be uh, a mindset. It's a mindset of learning. If you're going to, to continually professionally develop, you've got to continually learn. And, and too often school districts devote a day, uh, a, a day out of the year for, for their professional development. If they're lucky, there's two days out of the year. And then everything else is left up to the, the individual educator to, to find professional development elsewhere. And, and a lot of it is, is um, based on seat time, how much time they spend sitting in a classroom in front of somebody giving a lecture, which we know doesn't work based on all of the research that, that, that we've got. If, if you really want to learn, um, the collaborative format is, is the way for us to go, and, and that's what is most successful. So uh, that's my passion, getting people involved with, with learning and becoming what we, we refer to as lifelong learners. Every mission statement in, in half the schools in this country have, we want our students to be lifelong learners, but they leave the faculty out, which is just crazy. You know, you can't be an educator unless you are a learner, and, and too many people have forgotten that. So that's my passion.